Hi everyone, my name is Kujalina, and yeah, I know I look slightly less emo than normal right now, but that is because I'm wearing my show shirt, yay, for my school's musical, and I'm not actually in the musical, in the musical, but like, I'm in the pit orchestra for my musical, because I'm in band, and basically my band director was like, hey, you play enough instruments, so I'm down there in the pit orchestra providing live music. For the songs in the musical and I'm playing like 5,000 instruments and I'm like trying to switch instruments during like four measure breaks and it's impossible and it's hard and it's, I don't know I make, I make it work so it's okay because I'm just that great you know <laughs> so yeah last night was opening night and I'm not really doing anything today and you know so I was like you know what I might just wear it anyway because you know, I'm not really a big long sleeve person, but as long as it's comfortable, I'm not really doing anything right now, so it's okay. So anyway, yeah, the show is called Crazy For You, if you couldn't tell by the shirt here. <laughs> and basically, it's just one big long string of innuendos, and it's on point. <laughs> Definitely a really great choice for a high school musical, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, no, I just made a pun. No, it is, it is nothing like high school musical. It is a musical that's being put on at a high school that is completely inappropriate to show to children. But, like, it's so funny because of those innuendos that are going on. Like, at some point this character comes in and he's like, hey, you need to stop spending all day with my woman. And the guy's like, oh, you would prefer all night. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, 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 you guys got me. I know you guys got me. Oh my gosh, why am I like this? So... <laughs> Anyway, off, off of that tangent about the musical, here's the actual point of this video. So, this past week, I discovered a really weird talent of mine. So, a lot of you might not consider it a talent, per se, but you know what? I consider it a talent. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of hard. So, you know what? We're calling it a ta talent. Tangent talent. A talent, and you guys are all going to hear about it now. So, basically, recently... In AP Government, he gave us this assignment, and it was called a reverse guided reading, where basically instead of answering questions about a passage, we read a passage, and as we went through, we wrote, we wrote questions that would guide a person through the passage. And somehow, no one in my class, myself included, realized that when we wrote these questions, we were supposed to also answer these questions. So the teacher was like, yeah, you're going to have to answer all these now. And I really didn't want to. And somehow when he first told us that we all had to answer them now, I didn't hear that. So I didn't know about it until like Tuesday this week. So I didn't know about it until the day before it was due. And since it is musical season, I had pit orchestra that night after school until eight o'clock at night. And I also had other homework. So I was like really like high key, really salty that I had to do it. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this, and I don't want to use more than one sheet of paper to do it. So I got, like, really petty, and I wrote it like this. And yep. Yeah. Oh, great. So, camera lighting and stuff, you can't really see it, but, like, let's get a little bit closer. So as you can see here, it just looks like a normal sheet of lined paper, doesn't it? Ooh, but let's get even closer, and then you're going to see the real kicker here. All right, so let's get really, 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 really close here. See, look, that's not lined paper. That is writing. And oh my, here, wait, let's try a different angle and then it might be easier for you to see. Okay. Okay, guys, this is like fourth wall break of the century. You're really close to my bed, but like, here you are. Different angle. It might work. See, you can like see that it's like actual writing. And like, it's basically the same side as the lines on the paper. Like, you can see there's like an entire line space in between it because it's so tiny but i don't know how i do it but i do it it's really tiny i should pro oh my gosh it's really tiny i'm gonna get a ruler and we're gonna measure that okay so like three pauses later i found myself a ruler and it's like it's it's not even a normal ruler it's one of those rulers that has a hole punch on it so it's super nifty but like it's, it's the only one that was in my room and i didn't feel like leaving my room because who leaves their room on a friday morning no one wants to do that. So anyway, yeah, I mean, it doesn't measure in centimeters, but it does measure in inches. And so, you know, we're going to we're gonna go with that. It's, it's going to work fine. <laughs> All right. So basically, my lettering is one-eighth of an inch tall. Yeah, 
That's ridiculous. And it's not like it's like completely illegible. I'm not I'm like not just sitting there scribbling things that you can't read because it's so tiny you can't read the letters. Like it's very clearly written and you can see that it's actual letters, so it's like legible enough, but like yeah, that 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 takes talent right there, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and, like, this isn't even the first time I've done this. So, like, two years ago in AP Euro, I would do the same thing, except I would write entire five-paragraph essays on one side of a loose-leaf piece of paper. And, like, it, it was ridiculous. Like, and I did it multiple times. It wasn't just once. It was all the time. And I had an older teacher in that class, so he probably hated me. And my teachers probably all hate me because I write so tiny. And it's probably not readable without, like, bifocal glasses or something stupid like that. But yeah, that's my weird talent because like I was showing other people in pit orchestra because I was talking about how salty I was and they were like, oh my gosh, that's so tiny. And it's like, yeah, that's the point because I'm really, really salty about having to do this right now. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's my weird talent. And I'm pretty sure most people can't write that tiny because based on reactions, it's not a normal thing. So Anyway, that's it. I'm off my tangent. I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of. So, anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.